Well, the White House in its briefing today said that the president is focused on diplomacy, engaging with foreign leaders and also having conversations with members of his national security team. The U.S. has about 8,500 troops ready for rapid deployment to Eastern Europe to assist NATO if needed. U.S. leaders closely monitoring the Russian military buildup on Ukraine's borders amid ongoing tensions. Well, of course, our preferred path is diplomacy, and we can't predict where the mind of President Putin is. We've certainly seen aggressive actions and preparations increasing at the border. Officials confirmed those U.S. forces, if deployed, would not be assisting in a combative role, but to provide support for NATO allies. For weeks now, Russia, in signs of aggression, has staged roughly 100,000 troops along its border with Ukraine. Russia's aggression involves its push to ensure Ukraine isn't allowed to join NATO. It also wants most U.S. and NATO troops out of Eastern Europe. The Pentagon said while no decision has been made yet to deploy those roughly 8,500 military forces to Eastern Europe, the U.S. could also offer troops already stationed in Europe. Today, Ukraine's leaders tried calming fears in that region, saying an invasion by Russia was not imminent, but said they're preparing for any potential threat and confirmed they had received a shipment of U.S. military equipment to help bolster their defenses. Boris Johnson, the British Prime Minister, also pledged his country's assistance, saying they're prepared to deploy troops to protect NATO allies in Europe. Ukrainians have every moral and legal right to defend their country, and I believe their resistance would be dogged and tenacious, and the bloodshed comparable to the first war in Chechnya or Bosnia, Mr. Speaker, or any other conflict that Europe has endured since 1945. Vice President Kamala Harris saying on Monday the U.S. is ready to take decisive action if Russia invades Ukraine. The bottom line is that we have been clear and consistent for quite some time that we respect the territorial integrity and sovereignty of, U of Ukraine and we expect that Russia would do the same and any aggressive action taken by Vladimir Putin will be met with severe consequences. Uh, the ball is clearly in his court. The Department of Homeland Security warned of possible Russia cyber attacks amid these growing tensions against U.S. networks with the U.S.'s involvement in efforts to de-escalate a potential Russian invasion of Ukraine. The White House commented on this potential threat. Broadly, we are always preparing for any um, any action that uh, related to cyber or any other activity that any country could take, but I don't have a prediction against about that at this point in time. Now, the White House press secretary was also asked if President Biden plans on meeting soon with President Vladimir Putin. She says that it's unclear if or when that would happen, adding President Biden is open to engaging at a leader to leader level with Russia's leader. That's the very latest in the newsroom. I'm Karine Winter. We'll send it back to you now in the studio.